In the neighborhood of Elm Street, there stood an old house, weathered and worn by the passage of time. The house had been abandoned for as long as anyone could remember, and it had become a subject of local legend. Whispers, like autumn leaves rustling in the wind, spread throughout the town about the strange happenings in that eerie abode. Children, daring each other with nervous grins, would run past the house during the day. They'd make up stories about the ghostly figures they believed danced in the windows at night. The adults, though they tried to dismiss these tales, couldn't help but feel a shiver crawl up their spines whenever they walked past the house. One fateful evening, curiosity got the better of a young man named Mark. He decided it was time to uncover the truth behind the haunted house. Armed with nothing but a flashlight and a heart filled with both courage and trepidation, he made his way to the desolate dwelling. The moon cast long shadows on the overgrown lawn as he approached. The door creaked open with an eerie groan, as if protesting against his intrusion. Mark stepped into the darkness, the beam of his flashlight piercing the thick veil of mystery that shrouded the house. The air inside was heavy with the scent of decay and abandonment. As the clock struck midnight, strange occurrences began to unfold. Whispers, faint at first but growing stronger, echoed through the halls. Mark's heart raced as he cautiously ventured deeper into the house. He felt an icy chill run down his spine as he saw fleeting apparitions, ghostly figures trapped in a time long past. One room, in particular, drew him in like a moth to a flame. As he entered, the walls seemed to come alive with spectral images. A tragic story of love, betrayal, and murder unfolded before his eyes. He witnessed the final moments of a tormented soul, trapped within these cursed walls. Fear gnawed at Mark's soul, but he couldn't tear himself away. The house seemed to feed on his terror, the apparitions growing more vivid and terrifying. Just when it seemed he would be consumed by the malevolent energy, Mark found the strength to flee. He burst out of the house gasping for breath as he stumbled onto the moonlit lawn. The echoes of the past whispered in his ears, but he was free. Mark's hair had turned prematurely white, and lines of age etched themselves upon his face overnight. The haunted house on Elm Street remained as enigmatic as ever, a grim reminder of the horrors that could lurk behind the facade of the ordinary. In the heart of a small neighborhood, there lay a playground that had once been a place of joy and laughter for the children. It had swings that reached for the sky, a merry-go-round that spun with delight, and a sandpit where imaginations ran wild. But all that changed one ominous evening when an ancient curse, dormant for centuries, was awakened. It began innocently enough. A group of children, their faces flushed with excitement, decided to spend the evening at the playground. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the familiar equipment. As twilight faded into darkness, the air grew colder, and an eerie hush settled over the playground. The children, undaunted, continued to play. They laughed and swung higher and higher on the swings, their voices echoing in the still night air. But as they frolicked on the merry-go-round, one of them stumbled upon a loose stone. Curiosity peaked, they pried it open revealing a hidden chamber below. Within the chamber, they found an ancient relic, a cryptic inscription etched onto its surface. Unbeknownst to them, this discovery had triggered a curse that had lain dormant for centuries. Suddenly, the ground trembled, and the inscription glowed with an ominous, blood-red light. Terrifying laughter, not their own, echoed through the playground. The children froze, their hearts pounding as they realized they were no longer alone. Ghostly apparitions of children, long gone, appeared before their eyes. They beckoned with pale, ethereal hands, inviting the living children to join their spectral games. Fear clawed at their hearts, but they couldn't escape. The ghostly children circled around them, their laughter growing more menacing with each passing moment. One by one, the living children disappeared, leaving behind only the haunting sound of their laughter. From that night on, the playground became a place of dread. The swings swayed in the breeze, as if moved by invisible hands. The merry-go-round spun of its own accord, emitting eerie creaks and groans. And in the stillness of the night, 
the chilling laughter of the ghostly children could be heard, a grim reminder of the curse that had befallen the playground. Parents in the neighborhood forbade their children from setting foot in that cursed place, but the playground's reputation as a haunted ground endured. It stood as a chilling testament to the perils of tampering with the unknown, a stark reminder that even the most innocent of places could become the stuff of nightmares. In a quiet suburban neighborhood, nestled beneath the neatly paved streets, there lay an old storm drainage tunnel. For years, the tunnel had been nothing more than a forgotten relic of the past, its dark, damp interior avoided by the residents who lived above it. Rumors of a curse had swirled around it, and few dared to venture inside. One rainy night, a group of friends gathered for an adventure they would never forget. They huddled beneath umbrellas as they made their way to the tunnel's entrance, the patter of raindrops echoing in their ears. They laughed and dared each other to explore its depths, believing it to be nothing more than an urban legend. As they entered the tunnel, the world outside grew distant, and the only illumination came from their flashlights. Water trickled down the moss-covered walls, creating an eerie symphony of drips and echoes. With each step deeper into the darkness, their laughter began to wane, replaced by a growing unease. Suddenly, they heard it, an unsettling whisper that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. They froze, their hearts pounding, as the whispering grew louder and more insistent. Shadows danced on the tunnel walls, taking on sinister shapes. As they continued deeper into the tunnel, footsteps echoed behind them, even though they were certain they were alone. Panic set in, and their flashlights darted wildly in all directions. In the dim light, they caught glimpses of something unnatural, something that should not have been there. One by one, they began to disappear. Their screams filled the tunnel, only to be swallowed by the darkness. Only one friend remained, paralyzed by fear and disbelief. It was then that she heard the voice, a mournful wail that seemed to come from the very walls of the tunnel. With trembling legs, she made her way back to the entrance, her flashlight flickering. The tunnel seemed to stretch on endlessly, its walls closing in around her. But just as it seemed she would be lost forever, she burst out into the rain-soaked night. Her friends were gone their fate sealed by the malevolent presence that dwelled within the tunnel. She would carry the weight of that night's horrors with her for the rest of her days. The once carefree group of friends had ventured into the tunnel with dreams of adventure, but they had encountered something beyond their wildest nightmares. As the sole survivor, she couldn't escape the memories of that fateful night. The haunting whispers and the unseen presence in the tunnel haunted her every waking moment. Nightmares plagued her sleep, and the faces of her lost friends seemed to materialize in the shadows of her room. She tried to tell the authorities, to explain what had happened in that accursed tunnel, but her words fell on deaf ears. The tunnel, they insisted, was just an ordinary storm drain, and her story was dismissed as a product of her traumatized mind. Haunted and tormented, she couldn't bear to stay in the neighborhood any longer. She moved far away hoping to leave the horrors behind. But the tunnel's malevolence seemed to follow her, its presence lurking in the corners of her new life. Years passed, and she became obsessed with uncovering the truth behind the tunnel's curse. She delved into the history of the neighborhood, searching for clues in dusty archives and forgotten records. Slowly, a chilling tale emerged. Centuries ago, the tunnel had been a place of dark rituals and unspeakable horrors. It was a place where those who sought power made dark pacts with malevolent forces, sealing their own doom and cursing the tunnel for all eternity. Armed with this knowledge, she returned to her old neighborhood, determined to break the curse that had claimed her friends. She gathered a group of brave souls, each with their own reasons for confronting the darkness within the tunnel. As they entered the tunnel, the whispers began once more, but this time, they were met with defiance the group pressed forward, their determination unwavering. They reached the heart of the tunnel, where the curse's grip was strongest. There, they encountered the malevolent force that had claimed so many lives. It manifested as a shadowy, shape-shifting presence, feeding on their fear and despair. But they had come prepared, 
armed with ancient incantations and symbols of protection. A fierce battle ensued, a battle between the forces of light and darkness. The tunnel seemed to tremble as the curse fought to maintain its hold, but the group's determination and unity prevailed. With a final, defiant chant, they shattered the curse's power. The tunnel was no longer a place of darkness and dread. It became a symbol of triumph over malevolence, a testament to the courage of those who refused to be its victims. The neighborhood, once plagued by whispers and fear, was finally free. But for the survivor, the memories of that night would never truly fade. She had faced the darkest of horrors and emerged stronger for it, a living testament to the power of resilience and the unbreakable bond of friendship. The tunnel, once a place of nightmares, was now a reminder that even in the face of the supernatural, humanity could find the strength to prevail.